Hello and welcome. This is James Maduke speaking, and uh, we're doing. What are we doing? Well, we're doing a WordPress blog software install tonight. And uh, the reason I wanted to show you this is because there's something really neat about WordPress. And uh, if you're not familiar with it, you'll learn about it in the Internet Marketing Video Library where I have all the videos. But WordPress is a real simple, simple way to get websites that are also blogs set up really quickly with some neat features but also be able to post or have the blog filled with content automatically using some software. Now why do you want to do that? Well one of the reasons is something called AdSense and that's an advertising revenue stream that we use in Hub and Spoke Marketing. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through a WordPress install here pretty straightforward right straight A to Z and this is something that anyone can do. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to do it. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now it's not the only way to do it but it's a way that I recommend to do it. Now why am I saying that? Why is it uh, a way that to do it but could be different? Well first of all we're on wordpress.org up at the top here you'll see that and I'm just going to get rid of actually some of the uh, other toolbars here so we have a little bit more room. And if you don't know how to get rid of toolbars in Internet Explorer here's how you do it. You can just get rid of that one, which is the Alexa one. And all I'm doing is I'm, I'm doing a right mouse click over top. I've got my mouse over top of the toolbar. I'm doing a right mouse click, and I'm going to get rid of that one. So a little more screen to see here. And uh, this is WordPress.org. This is the one that I recommend. I also used another piece of software called Expression Engine, which you had to pay for. But this one is something called open source. So that means there's no cost to it. And there's actually a group of people that help to uh, to uh, really uh, do the code and, and improve the software on a regular basis. And in fact, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually nightly builds on this, so they do a new version of the software every night, and uh, you know it's very very simple for you to get started with it. But more importantly, you're always getting great software. Now, I'm going to do one thing on this page here, just to let you know. You can also have uh, find a web host here for WordPress. There's actually some hosts that just host WordPress sites, and they have it already set up for you. Uh, you basically just get a site, and there's already the software installed for you. Uh, I'm installing this particular software uh, on a website, and it's on my own domain. And there's some reasons that you want to put it on your own domain and have a domain set up for your own blog. And one of those is obviously with Google rankings, one of the things that Google just loves is domain names and making sure that the domain name is relevant to what you're optimizing the site for. So that's all covered in Get Rank First on Google. Again, one of the courses, the video course, is about four and a half, five hours worth of great Google search engine traffic optimization information in there. But Suffice to say, what we want to do is we want to install a copy of WordPress on a domain that we own. So to get started, you're going to come to this WordPress.org site. And uh, on the left-hand side, you'll see it says Download and Install. We're just going to click there and download WordPress. We don't, basically don't have to do anything. There's two little downloads here. One is download.zip, the other one is download.tar.gz, which is for Linux machines. So if you're on a Windows machine or one that uses WinZip or Macintosh, I would think they have WinZip as well for the Mac. I'm not a Mac user, but I believe they do. And all you need to do is click on the download zip. And what happens is on Windows, at least for my machine, it says, hey, there's a file here. Do you want to download it? And in this case, what we're going to do is we're just going to save it. So I'm going to click Save. And I'm actually going to go, and I've got, these are a whole bunch of programs that I've downloaded, but I'm going to create a new folder for it, and I'm going to put it in there. So that particular case, we're going to call it WordPress is the folder. And what I'm going to do, I just named it WordPress. I'm going to double click with my left mouse key, so I'm in the folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have a good name for it, which is WordPress 2.0 zip, and I'm going to click Save. And what's going to happen now is it's going to download the file. And in fact, that's what's done right now. It's downloaded over 
over and done with. Pretty straightforward. Now there's a couple other things that you can do is if you want to put your email in here you can get announcements and it's just like joining their newsletter. Um, you know it's funny that they do this the the site you know I haven't had to register a name they haven't tried to do a squeeze page or any of these marketing things um, but uh, you can uh, imagine that um, there's so much buzz about WordPress right now and in fact how good the software is that they they haven't even had to capture email addresses and they're monetizing WordPress the software in a couple different ways whole different business model so I'm going to go now and I'm just going to open up where we downloaded that zip file and uh, I'm using uh, Explorer and these are, these are a whole bunch of podcasts that we did but I want to go and find out where I put that so I'm just going to go search using Explorer to find it and in this one we're doing applications is where I put it program downloads and we created a folder called what was it called it was called WordPress so I'm going to double click on WordPress and there's the zip file and the zip file is just a way to compress you see the little the use of the vice on the file cabinet there it's just a way to make a whole bunch of files quite small so that they're easier to transfer to and from people and or machines. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to double click on this and WinZip will open up and I don't know of anyone who doesn't have a copy of WinZip. It's a free piece of software that you can uh, go uh, and use and if you go to winzip.com you can go and download what's called an evaluation version. There's no cost for it but in fact what you can do is uh, just go and download that and it will open zip files and allow you to create zip files actually which is kind of nice. So what I'm going to do here is you can see there's a whole bunch of files in here but what I need to do is I need to go and get them and I need to go hey you know what all sorts of files here what is all this stuff well I'm not really sure but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something called extract it and extract it means you want to take it from that compressed file and you want to take them all out and put them in individual files and folders that they were originally in so I'm going to click extract and by default what happens is it tries to extract to the very last directory that you did and we don't want to use that one we want to use one called what did we call it WordPress and I'm just gonna say WordPress files so we're there we've got a thing now we want to do all of the files and the other thing we want to do is we want to do folder names now what that means is if they were in separate folders in the zip file it'll actually put them in the same folders and subfolders so that the structure of the files is stays the same so I'm just gonna click extract and it's just gonna unzip all of these files and in fact there's 353 files in there all extracted so I'm gonna close WinZip now and if we take a look, remember I put a folder called files. If I double click on that one to open it up, it's got WordPress. And then look, it's got all of the files. All of the files are there. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, the easiest thing with all of these is, is they almost always have a readme file. So I'm not on a web server yet. I'm just on my hard drive on one of my machines. So I'm going to click the readme file. And it will open up. And what does it do? It gives me instructions you know there's an expression about reading the manual well this is the manual very very straightforward stuff don't have to work hard about it at all and what have we done famous five minute install unzip the package into an empty directory hey that's what we just did open up the WP config sample PHP with a text editor like WordPad or similar and fill in your database connection save it and then upload everything well what are they talking about? Well they're talking about taking it from your hard drive on your local computer, your computer at your home or your office and then what you've got to do is you've actually got to go put it up on a web server. So in this particular case what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to stop the video for this session but when we come back what we'll do is I'll show you how to actually create the database that it's talking about here.
fill in your database connection details. If you don't know what that is, we'll do that in a second. So this is James Maduke speaking. We're watching a little session on how to install WordPress, and we'll be back again shortly with the rest of the install.